Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do the first edition of Janae's Closet and today I'm going to give you a tour and talk about all of my wigs. And as you can see I've got a couple. Um, I probably own about, I haven't counted them in a while, there's at least two dozen and actually probably more upwards of 30 something. And um, first I want to explain why I wear wigs. And for some of you, it may seem obvious. Um, my own hair has thinned, unfortunately, to the point where I'm, unable, where I'm unable to grow it out. And of course, for me, trying to feel comfortable with my femininity, hair can be a big part of that. And I'm really trying to embrace the bald look and doing a lot better with that. Um, but also, wigs help me express different things on different days. And especially like if I'm going to an event like a wedding or something, it's really nice to be able to throw on some long, beautiful hair and, you know, helps me feel like me. Um, one of the things I really struggle with with wigs is that, um, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm all dialed up and I have my makeup done perfect and I'm dressed really nice, but when all that comes off and I take my wig off at the end of the day, sometimes it can feel like a costume. And it can, that gives, you know, it's really hard and... Um, causes you know some tough emotions and uh, so that's one thing I struggle with and try to make peace with and one of the reasons I'm really trying to embrace the shaved head or the bald look um, just to help me feel more like me and feel like me 24 7 and not only when I have a wig on and ma in full makeup and everything else and so that can be a challenge but um, all that being said let's do a little tour I'll pull down a couple examples and tell you some stories behind some of the different wigs and and uh, you know where I got them and why some of them are more meaningful to me and why I chose uh, the ones I did and some that have worked really well for me and other ones that have been complete disasters. Um, so first I'll talk to you guys and show you about this one. Now most of anyone who's been following me for a long time will recognize this is my um, one of my most um, popular looks that I wear the most often that people sometimes refer to as I want to talk to your manager look <laughs> and um, but uh, for me it actually really worked well for my face shape um, the fullness on top and the and the way it's tapered with the asymmetrical cut actually really helps my jaw look thinner and for me that's a big thing to help me feel feminine and um, just the way I feel comfortable with my face looking so this was just a cut that I found very flattering for my face shape and, um, and I felt kind of fit my personality, kind of sassy, kind of sporty, and, but no, I don't request to talk to the manager, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, most of you probably recognize that one. Um, this one has a little bit of a uh, history behind it as well. This one I actually got bought for me. Um, it was, it was when I was first outed and, um, I was doing a bunch of shoots and I, I did a big magazine shoot for Muscle and Fitness. Some of you may have seen that article. It was a, actually I was told that it was the longest feature article ever um, displayed in that magazine. But um, for that I was able to hire a makeup artist and um, the magazine covered that cost. And my makeup artist who also kind of served as my fashion consultant talked the, the magazine people into also purchasing a couple wigs for me. Um, for the photo shoot and this was one of them. Now this is a, a real hair wig um, but it's made from Indian hair which is uh, people from India and um, which is a little coarser and a, and a little um, a little different than European hair that would be like my natural hair but it was but it was really good for me it um, the cut was very flattering and while I've never been a huge fan of bangs myself like on other people but the bangs actually worked really well and again were very was very complimentary for my face shape um, I helped. I felt like it helped um, minimize my jaw and just was pleasing for my face shape and I, I felt like it gave me a really feminine look. Um, so this is still a wig I, I wear off and on and if you watch my other videos you'll definitely see me wearing it and uh, I really like it from time to time depending on my mood. Um, let's see. This is one of the other wigs that has a little bit of a story behind it. This was also bought around the same time, and oh, and like the last two wigs I just showed you, and this one, they were these were all bought at um, beauty supply stores. Um, I get a lot of questions about where I purchase my wigs, and I wish I had one simple answer, or one perfect place I found that I get you know amazing wigs for good prices. But unfortunately, I've gotten them from all different sources. I have bought a lot online, which is kind of always hit or miss, you know, just like with clothes. Things look great on some beautiful model, but then when you actually get them and try them on, often the quality's not the same or they don't look as good in person. 
And, um, and sometimes I've had some show up that are complete disasters, like, you know, like costume quality, not even, you know, a decent quality at all. Um, this one, I just really liked it because of the long curls, it's a little, I haven't combed it out in a while. It needs, needs a little work. Um, when I moved, it got thrown in a bag and it's, it's in pretty rough shape right now. But, um, this one I wore to a friend's wedding and I wanted something longer and more glamorous. And, um, I felt this was a really good look that night and made me feel really beautiful and um, you know, just long and full, and, and I really enjoyed it with that outfit. Um, let's see, then we have, oh, we've got my, my first ginger wig, and um, this one, anyone who's followed me too or follows my Instagram, I'm sure you've probably seen photos of me wearing this one. I really like the color. I like that there's um, a lot of uh, definition, different tones, some highlights, some lowlights, and the spiral perm gives it a nice fullness. And this one was the first time I realized I had a girlfriend at work that for a long time had suggested I try, you know, like be, to be a redhead or, you know, a ginger colored wig. And I, I never thought, because my natural color is actually brunette. And I never thought that this would actually work with my skin tone. But the funny thing was I tried it and I actually really liked it. And one of my more recent purchases is also a similar shade and I'm really happy with it. And, and just between you and I, this is also one of the favorites of Olivia, my girlfriend. So she really likes this one. But, um, yeah, let's see. And there's lots of other stories behind some of these other ones. This is another one I wore quite a bit that's a very similar cut and actually the same brand as my blonde one that I would change it up and do this. I have another one that's not up here right now that's similar but with red highlights. Um, I thought this was really cute and sassy, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't work for me as well. And a lot of them too, like I said, like the cuts look great on, on the models or different people. And, um, but a lot of it has to do, you know, hairstyles have a lot to do with your face shape and what you're trying to highlight, whether you're trying to bring out your eyes, you know, or different features in your face. And, um, but my most recent purchases and the, my biggest investments are the one I'm wearing and this one right here. Now these are Folia brand wigs, um, which are very, very high quality. And um, this is real um, European hair. So it'd be very similar to my own, which is gonna look the most natural on me. And they are hand tied one at a time. So someone actually sat down and tied one hair at a time to the, this entire uh, cap. They have a full lace cap and they also have silicone inserts, which I'm gonna show you. And now these, I believe this is called the Folia Gripper Light. And so you see these silicone inserts that if you have a shaved head or a bald head, that is going to stick to your head and help it stay on really tight when you're exercising or if it's really windy or something like that. But it really helps it stay in place. And you can see there's a, it's a full lace cap that actually breathes really well. So this one is not nearly as hot as a lot of the other wigs that have more of a traditional style a wefted cap and the one I'm wearing is actually the exact same style as this just different length and color and um, These are a significant investment. They're much more expensive than my other wigs to be honest These two have cost me more than all my other wigs put together um, But it was a worthwhile investment. I'm really happy with them I still have a lot more to learn about styling them with most synthetic wigs You know the styles already made into the wig and they just look how they look you don't comb them You don't brush them I mean, some you do, but some styles you don't, but they're very low maintenance compared to these are real hair. So just like real hair, they need to be washed from time to time. You can style them, you know, flat iron them, curl them, you know, whatever. But then also they need more maintenance and more work and more effort in styling. And that's something I'm still learning and something I'm still working on. But these are, but I'm really, really happy with them. They were definitely a worthwhile purchase and um, I'm glad I did it. And uh, I'm just going to show you one more batch of wigs that I have um, that are completely the opposite end of the spectrum and uh, you might think that okay, geez Janae you've got a ton of wigs and and they, when you see all these ones up here well <laughs> I also have another bag full of now these are cheap some of them that um, ended up being more costume style than I originally intended but some of them are really fun like my pink wig <laughs> And uh, not just for Halloween, but had fun with this sometimes going out to clubs and things like that. I've got a number of these things. Here's one that 
looked great on the model in the um, ad that I bought online, came in person, and not nearly as hot. <laughs> it didn't work so well for me. But yeah, I've got a whole bag of probably another dozen wigs shoved in here. I've got from Purple, another, um, you know, just fun stuff. Another one that's um, brunette and pink mixed and stuff like that. So, and, and these ranged in price. I mean, a lot of my wigs were under $100, surprisingly. Like, like this one that worked really well for me and I've used for a long period of time. This was only about $70. And I mean, that's not super cheap, but... In, in the world of wigs, it's not too bad, and especially for all the use I've got out of it. Um, some of the real hair ones, I think, like this one, even though it's real hair, was still pretty reasonable, um, relatively speaking. It was about me, I think it was like 200 and something. And, uh, and then, you know, I've got a lot of weight, like a lot of the ones in here were $50 or in that price range. Um, so they're a wide range. Typically, most of them are going to be from around $50 all the way up to a couple hundred, but then when you get into the real hair wigs, the prices can go way, way up, and some of them are even in the thousands of dollars. Um, so they could be a significant investment, And uh, but, you know, if depending on what you need them for and why you're wearing them and, uh, you know, what you're looking for exactly, they can be a, definitely a worthwhile investment. They've really helped me, and um, like I said, it, it's a big part of who I am, helps me feel like me, and in different occasions and different Feeling, uh, different feelings, different moods, and uh, you know, some days I like the long and glamorous, some days short and sassy, and then some days I just rock the bald look. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this, learned a few things. If you have more questions or want to share your own stories about your own wigs, uh, please leave it in the comments below. And uh, thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And if you liked everything, like and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome day.